subscribe now. EU debates. So, okay for you. Good morning again. Um, well, uh, the winter is coming uh, and we don't know how cold it will be, but what we know for sure that Putin will continue to play his uh, dirty games uh, in misusing and blackmailing uh, by uh, gas supplies. And uh, this is something we have to prepare our households and economies for, and we have to protect them. The recent Odessa attack has shown that Russia is not and never will be a trustworthy uh, partner. And just yesterday, uh, Gazprom announced uh, uh, additional uh, cut on the gas supplies, which immediately caused a price increase. And this is just an additional evidence or proof that uh, we have to take the game uh, in our hands and we have to reduce the dependencies on Russian supplies as soon as possible. If we will manage this, uh, all Europe uh, uh, will profit. Um, the Czech Presidency convened uh, for today an extraordinary meeting and what we, we, what we will discuss is how to reduce how to save uh, the gas consumption. And uh, we will do our best, we will tirelessly work in order to have uh, an agreement which will be acceptable for all member states. The Czech Presidency support uh, fully this ambition. Um, unity and solidarity is the best weapon we have against Putin and I am pretty sure this is what we will show uh, uh, on the end of the day today. Uh, I'm also happy to have uh, uh, German uh, Galushenko, the Minister of Energy, today uh, as a guest for a lunch and we will uh, be discussing uh, the further collaboration in energy area uh, between EU and Europe because uh, different states are in different positions and you have for example like uh, island states which are completely isolated and which are not interconnected uh, uh, to, to, to the system or uh, some of the states there are some interconnections missing there is also the question of the of the storages yeah? some of uh, some of the states they still have a lot of work to do in order to achieve the agreed 80% until the winter uh, others like Czech Republic, we managed to have 80% already as of yesterday. So there is also a further motivation needed in order to have basically uh, in the storages as much gas as possible before the winter season will start. Do you expect Hungary to agree on the paper? I expect everything from Hungary. But with all these exceptions that are for different states and uh, the islands. And so, so sorry? With all the exceptions that are in, the, in this program, will it still work? The, 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 basically, the common understanding is the sum of the uh, exemptions uh, should not impact the targeted uh, volume of the, of the saved gas. And, and this is basically something uh, uh, we, we have to stick to. And is it enough? Is, is it enough the, the, what is proposed right now? I'm, I'm pretty because sure. Ba ba based on our calculation, uh, taking the c current uh, version uh, 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 into account, I, I, uh, I, I believe we still have a, a very good solution. Uh, all the countries uh, have shown a big effort in order to achieve an alignment. And really, there was a plenty of calls, uh, long-lasting negotiations, and I do not have a feeling that there is somebody who doesn't want to be part of the game. Uh, I have a pretty good feeling, and uh, I think that everybody has shown, basically, uh, the, the wish to have an alignment as of the end of today. Thank you very much. Thank you.